Hey guys, it's Nick here. How's it going? Um, good to be back. So, this was originally supposed to be another unboxing video, but on my first take, uh, my computer started having problems and I had to restart it. So, yeah. So, this is some of the stuff that I ended up getting from Japan. Um, as you know, I, I do that pretty much on a monthly basis. Um, I think I told people I do have a project coming up. Um, it's probably not going to be done by maybe around the end of the year. I still haven't bought the software and stuff, but I am working on a, let's just say it's a thematical review um, based on where I'm going on vacation. So, uh, yeah, I'll try to take pics. Um, not go until next month. So, uh, and I am, um, some really cool, hopefully it's going to happen in there, actually a few cool things. Uh, but for now, I want to show you guys the stuff that I picked up. Um, so, first off, as you guys know, I never used to like watching movies a lot. You know, it wasn't usually my thing, but I've been buying a ton of them from Japan because it's really cool to hear the Japanese versions, especially because that's actually kind of how I learned Japanese. Um, so, I'll show you guys some of the stuff that I picked up, and uh, here we go. So, the first one, this is one that I really wanted to see after watching Nostalgia Critics review of it is the Langoliers. Um, I was really curious how the Japanese dub would sound, and it was really good. I just didn't know. I knew I knew it was based on a miniseries, or I knew that it was a miniseries, but um, I didn't know it was going to be a three-hour movie for some reason. That didn't occur to me. I thought it was actually going to be a lot shorter, like an hour or something, but um, I thought it was a good movie. You know, it's, it's your normal kind of cheesy 90s kind of flick. I mean, this is from 1995, so um, it's, uh, I'm a year older than the movie. So, but I liked it, you know, acting was good. Um, I didn't know the blind girl, Kate Maberly. I didn't know she was British, so that's pretty cool. Um, although now that I know she's British, every now and then you can kind of hear her British accent kind of slip through the cracks. You know, um, there's actually one part where she imitates the British captain, so you got to hear her real voice for a sec there. Um, but, I mean, she did great. I mean, every, all the actors are pretty good. It's just, you know, CG is kind of cheap, you know, but it's the 90s, so... You know, I, I actually kind of prefer that to the two realistic CGI they have nowadays. Um, this is another one from uh, that I wanted to watch because a nostalgia critic again was curious how the Japanese version would sound, and that is Drop Dead Fred. Or uh, let's see, can I pronounce the Japanese title? Phoebe um, Kate no Watashi no Kare wa Dodonba, which I think translates to Phoebe Kate's my my problem boyfriend or something like that. So. Um, now one thing I didn't know, I, I recently found this out, was that Rick Mayall, the guy who plays Drop Dead Fred, he was actually, uh, in a lot of Nintendo commercials, like, I know he did one for, like, Tetris 2 and stuff, so that's pretty cool, um, I, like, I already like him because he's, <laughs> he did spots for Nintendo back in the 90s, so that's pretty cool, um, but yeah, look, look that up, the Tetris 2 ad, it's pretty funny, um, it's just it's just nineties kind of funny though, so you, I don't know if, if people are really gonna like it. Okay, um, that's not all the movies though. I have a ton more to show you guys. So here we go. Now I'm not a big fan of the the you know, comics or anything. I, I I like Teen Titans, you know the the cartoon, not Teen Titans Go, but the original one. Um, me and my sister used to love that one, but um, this one, this is Batman, because uh, I always liked uh, Jack Nicholson. He's Quite pro possibly my favorite actor, and uh, you know I I loved him as the Joker. I've seen part, you know I've seen clips on YouTube of the movie. So um, again, it'll be interesting to hear the Japanese version. Um, this is another one, um, the Presidio, which is uh, it's got Sean Connery, you know James Bond in it, uh, where he beats the crap out of a guy in one scene with his thumb. I don't know. I wonder if that's actually real though. Or if you could actually do what he does in the movie. Um, then I got this pair of movies. And I, I, I won't go into too much detail why I bought them. Besides, I just want to hear the Japanese versions. But uh, Horrible Bosses 1 and 2. And I know they're not the best movies. But it's like the Langoliers, you know, and Drop Dead Fred. People, you know, poorly rated those movies. And I thought they were okay. Nothing like, I don't think you should, like, go out and buy it immediately. But, um, yeah. I mean, they're, they're okay. So, I've seen clips of these movies, you know. So, I, I know and I'm, I have an idea what I'm in for. So, 
Um, and we got the Japanese version of Die Hard. Now, people got to remember, um, I reviewed this game, technically reviewed it, years ago on my channel. And I, the, I liked the NES game so much that I wanted to... Did I specify it was the NES version? I, I, was, I did a video up, yeah. So anyways, I liked the game so much I had to see the movie. Well, at the time, I couldn't find any stores around. Like, I think, we, I, remember, I, think I remember going to Walmart. I couldn't find a copy of Die Hard, so I ended up buying it on iTunes. So it's actually nice to have a, a, um, a DVD copy. Now, some might ask, well, wait a minute. If they, if they uh, what was I going to say? Oh, um, why, why would you buy the Japanese versions? You know, because aren't they going to be in Japanese? Well, yes and no. So, Japanese for um, most of them. I mean, I may I make sure to check first before I buy them, because um, I've made the mistake before. But most of these, um, they have Japanese dubs or Japanese subtitles with the English audio and subtitles. So you could actually do both. So usually I watch it with Japanese dubbing and the English subtitles. So uh, it's going to be great to see this. Um, Again, great game, great movie. Probably should have said that in the other order, but oh well. And again, um, this is one of my favorite movies, The Big Lebowski. And this might, I've always said that this is, well, after Die Hard. Die Hard used to be my favorite movie, then it was The Big Lebowski. And I think, honestly, to be, to be completely honest, after watching it like the third time in a row, uh Maybe not in a row, but Snatch, I think, is my favorite movie of all time. That or Lockstock. I really like those films. But, uh, yeah, Big Lebowski, this is going to be awesome to watch. I I used to be able to quote, like, at least 90% of this movie, you know, word by word. It was it was insane. But it's been a while since I've watched it. So, yeah. Um, and then I think this is the last one. This is uh, Jarhead. You know, it's got the Allstate guy, and it's got... Uh, um, Jack Frost in it, you know, the killer snowman Jack Frost, not the Michael Keaton one. So, um, yeah, I heard this is a pretty good one. I'm not a huge fan of military movies, but, um, I mean, some of them are good. From what I've seen, this one looks like it'll be pretty good. And I guess it's based on a true story. Um, the other military movie I've seen is uh, A Few Good Men. I, I eventually will get to Full Metal Jacket, though. That's one I've, I've been wanting to see for a long time. Uh, then I got a couple of music sheets here. I know people don't really care about these, but um, they're both for Oasis. They were just really cheap, so I got it. I'm not a huge Oasis fan. I like some of their stuff, but um, but uh, yeah, this is a uh, roll with it, and then this is go let it out. But these are like uh, you know, those like it's kind of like a conductor score. It's got all the parts on it. You know, guitar, bass, drums, vocals. So it's pretty cool. Okay, now, so to, to watch these movies, what I do is I actually watch them through VLC, um, but I had a problem with that. So what you're supposed to do, with, like with my computer, you set your DVD region to Japan. That's what I did. And unfortunately, that didn't work very well. So what I had to do... Um, shit, I'm sorry, guys. I trailed off. No, so, so VLC plays it, but you, you set your video region to Japan. But the problem was I tried to watch one of my movies, Phenomenon, and it was the only movie in my collection from Japan that wouldn't work. It still gave me the region code message. So I had to take it upon myself. I, get over here. I haven't opened it yet, but um, to buy this uh, Panasonic DVD player. And when I got my package in the mail, I thought, oh, shit, they forgot the DVD player because I was expecting one, like, huge. Like, I got one over here. You guys probably have seen it before, but um, it's, like, a pretty huge one. And, uh, no, this one uh, says DVD, CD, USB, MP3, JPEG. So, yeah, that'll be pretty interesting. Um, I believe videotapes, I believe a VHS is region free. So I have, like, a Japanese Jaco Pistorius uh, VHS that I found at a Goodwill, so... That one worked when I played it years ago. So, Let's see. Um, and then bought a few CDs. Don't ask me why, but um, Puff Daddy, No Way Out. I used to have this as a kid. Um, 
okay, good, it worked this time. Um, my computer went into like a screensaver mode. I couldn't get it out when I was recording the first time, so whatever. Um, then I got MC Hammer. And a funny story about the CD is my dad owned the CD, U.S. version, of course, back in the day, and I ended up breaking it. So, <laughs> so it's nice to actually have a copy of this again. Um, well, this thing was like two, 2,300 yen or 2,300 yen. So about 25 bucks U.S. dollars. Um, this is a Semisonic. Feeling Strangely Fine, is that the name of it? Yeah, I'm not familiar with this man. But I, I know Closing Time from Weird Al's Poke Power from his Running With Scissors album. And I got the guitar book a long time ago, so I'll have to listen to that. Um, then I got a couple, speaking of Weird Al, I got a couple Japanese Weird Al CDs as well. Um, Alapalooza and Off the Deep End. Now, I really want to talk about this one for a sec because... Um, so I guess Weird Al, I think back in 2019, released this compilation called Squeeze Box, where it was, you know, like, you know, the accordion which he plays. And it was like all of his albums plus an extra album of like, you know, obscure slash unreleased content. Well, I guess, I guess it sold for like a very short period of time. And now, of course, it's out of print. As far as I know, you can't even get it digitally. So, and out of one of the songs, I saw that, um, there was a version of Jurassic Park, which Al sings in Japanese. It's like, oh my God, I'd really love to hear that. And uh, now that was after I bought this album. Well, it turns out this one actually does have the Japanese version in it. So that's pretty funny. Um, this this will be really funny to hear. It's really interesting. He, he actually seems to enunciate everything pretty well. So, um, and that's the thing. I didn't know Weird Al was a thing in Japan, but I guess he is. Um, so that'll be interesting. Um, okay. But you guys don't want to see CDs or movies or sheet music or whatever. You guys want to see the games. What did I get? Well, I got a bunch of DS games and again, a lot of obscurities, but, um, so we'll start out with this one. Um, Majime ni Fumashime Kaiketsu Zorori. And this is, uh, Kyofu no Toka. Kyofu no Takarabako. Can't, I can never remember what Kyofu means, but Takarabako, that's a treasure box. Uh, so this is this is based on an anime, which I which I watch from time to time. Actually, I haven't seen it in a long time, but I like I like what I've seen of it. Um, and I bought these two. The, I got these together. They were packaged deals, so it was pretty good. It was a pretty good deal, nonetheless. Um, this these are Shanghai games. This one's just normal Shanghai. This one is. Mina de Asobo Shanghai DS2, which I think Mina de Asobo means everyone plays, if I'm not, mis if I'm not mistaken. It could very well be. Um, I accidentally bought two of these. They were, Thank God they were really cheap. These are just like um, those like weird edu educational kind of games. But this is, uh, yeah, DS Kageyama method. I don't remember... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to read all that. I can't remember. Where, I think a couple of those games were released in the U.S. or Europe, but I can't remember their titles in those regions, so I don't know. But I ended up getting my... Uh, oh, actually, I'll show this after this one. But um, here's another game in the series, which I don't own. I see a Italian flag in the beginning, or here. So it looks like it's act, asking you um, which country it is. So it's, I think it's like one of those like quiz games, but it's the same series on um, the DS Kageyama series. Um, looks like it's like asking you know, like how much you know about the world based, you know, based on that globe on the title. I don't know. Um, but this is my first DS game. Um, I do. I did get a second one, but um, I'm not going to get it till later. But this is um, Shanghai 3D Cube because I wanted to own an actual DS game. So... This will be an interesting one to play. Um, I yeah, I've never owned a DS game, a three DS game before, so this will be awesome. Now, what I didn't know is that uh, the, so the three DS, I have a Japanese one, right? Well, what I didn't know is it will play U.S. Nintendo DS games. It just won't play U.S. Nintendo three DS games. So as long as I keep it just normal DS, that's fine. So. Um, Let's see, anything else? I think that was pretty much it. Um, 
just, you know, working hard, you know, before my vacation, uh, which, you know, it's kind of my fault. I told my work to, you know, like, hey, get the most out of me before I go on vacation, you know, and, you know, got to earn a little extra money before you, you go on your vacation. So, <laughs> but yeah, um, there is a review that's planned and I'm working on a script on it and everything. So I haven't done a game review in like God knows how long I've done like unscripted stuff, but like I wanted to do something scripted. Um, and I'm really hoping that this one is good. Um, it, it, it is kind of based on a previous AVGN episode, and I'm hoping to outdo it, um, which might be hard to some, might be easy to others. Because I know some people don't like AVGN's recent works. I, I like some of the more recent stuff he's done, but like, uh, but like he's done a few episodes as of late as well that are just, you know, I just don't like, uh, it's like the Nostalgia Critic, for example. I just don't like how he has all these, like, 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 most of the review isn't even him, you know, reviewing the movie. It's him and the uh, those other actors that he works with. I can't... I know Malcolm and Tara, I think. It's like he's... Do, like, 99% of the video is just him doing ads or doing skits with, with, you know, Malcolm and Tara or whatever. And it's just, you know, I don't like that stuff. It, like, distracts from the review. If it was, like, once in a while, like, his older stuff, you know, that'd be fine. But I just don't like the whole... Like, I understand they're, like... They, you know, they're kind of like his right-hand people or whatever, you know, and, you know, he's got to kind of show them and, like, everything or whatever, but it's, like, just gets annoying. I mean, I always skip past that stuff. So, like, the reviews, like, the videos are, like, 30 to 40 minutes long, but the reviews are only, like, 10 to 20 minutes long, if that. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Um, so, <sighs> that's it. Um, I do have one other huge announcement, though. Um, my new song... Um, called I Love You More is out on, uh, I think it's on Apple Music, and I think it's on Deezer. I've never even heard of Deezer until I got a message saying it was on Deezer. So if you use that, go ahead. Uh, I might do a separate video, though, about that song. And uh, maybe I'll create another channel later for my musical stuff. Maybe that, I mean, I've heard on Twitter you can have, like, two accounts or something, so maybe I should, like, invest in that. I don't know. but I, Or I wonder if YouTube has a feature like that. So, um... That's another thing I was, I was wondering to people about. Um, what do you think of this beard? Is it good? Is it bad? I, I had a friend of mine say I should shave it. Um, what do you guys think? I mean, I think I look pretty badass with it, but I also know that, I don't know, I kind of look weird with it. I mean, this is what I call the Nick beard because, <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. I get it from my dad. I have, like, really bad puns and everything. But, you know, I got this neck beard, but it's like, it's the Nick beard, okay? It's, it's a unique one. For sure. Um, I actually used to call it a rectangular beard because it kind of looked like it. it was like it would go like, you know, like down here, like in a straight line kind of and go up like that. It was kind of weird. Um, that was back when I was like working at my retail job. So uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? And also, do you like the hair tied back or do you like it? You know, do you like you letting it all hang out? I don't know. Um, uh, last thing before I go, you might notice the lack of a. Uh, audio quality that's because I'm using my webcam mic because for the second freaking time um, the freaking audio device I used fell and the USB device you know broke out and fortunately the one I bought to replace the last one was from the dollar store so I only lost a dollar but man those things are cheap maybe I should keep it on like my piano you know so it doesn't like fall because I have it I have it sitting on top of the computer um, and if people want to know what I use, and this is what I used to record I Love You More. It was like, uh, this was, uh, this is like a Scarlet. I can't remember the exact model number, but, uh, no, I don't think it says on here. Or if it does, like, it's hard to read because the text is in red, you know, blends in with the, with the device. But yeah, I just, you know, I use this thing. Um, really simple. I got my microphone plugged in here. Um, I actually have my keyboard plugged into here sometimes, like, or that's how I record it, or, you know, it, it's not just my keyboard, I'll plug, like, my bass in here, or my guitar, or whatever, and, you know, we'll, you know, I just record from there. Um, I'm really, I'm, I'm honestly, like, a huge noob when I, when I use these things, so, I mean, I'm just, I, I'm a minimalist at best, but, um, then you got your headphone input. Um, but yeah, the USB device that goes, I think it's, they call it USB-C or something. I'm not too familiar with it, but, uh, yeah, the, the port, you know, it, it's on top of the computer and of course I'll accidentally trip a cord or something and it'll just come crashing down and, 
yeah, this time it knocked the freaking USB out. So maybe I should put it on the piano, but for now I'm going to be stupid and just leave it up on the computer, especially because there's no USB attached to it. So hopefully I don't have to worry as much. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, I might do another video on my song and, you know, that way you guys can hear it. And <sighs> Anyways, I hope you guys are doing good. You know, I'm honestly... Things have been going kind of crap for me lately. I'm hoping things change. I'm really hoping this vacation, um, you know, does something. And I, I should let you guys go because, you know, I'm just like my dad, though. I, I say I'll let you go and then I keep talking. But um, last thing I will admit is um, reason one reason besides being just worked out of my freaking mind is um, that I haven't been on lately is because. I actually had a friend of mine, pretty close one. Well, okay, maybe not too close, but because um, we had a bit of a falling out, but he passed away. And, you know, I'm not the kind of guy that holds a grudge. So even if we weren't on the best of terms, you know, he, uh, you know, I don't wish death or harm upon a single soul in this world. Well, maybe with the cup, with, an, with a, like a select few, but it's like one or two people. Um, but... Um, you know, he was one of those people that could light up a room. You know, you never would have guessed anything was wrong with him because he never talked about it. Um, I The problem with me is I'm not in a position to talk about it, at least not publicly. I have to keep it, you know, to myself for the most part. Um, so, is the microphone still working on this thing? Because the webcam software showing something different so i don't know but i better end this thing so i'll see you guys later thanks for watching guys and hope everything goes well for you and peace out have a good one